Now I may have missed something on this, but I don't I don't think I did. Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. We're talking about this crazy story out of New Hampshire, where a bunch of high school students decided to boycott and protest a new movement by the district, by the board, school board, that decided that it's banning urinals in girls' restrooms. Now, this measure don't, doesn't sound like such a bad idea to me, because you're a girl. What are you going to do with a urinal? But it's a little deeper than that, and let's run through the story real fast so we can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the article right here. Students protest after New Hampshire schools, school district bans the urinals. Students walked out of New Hampshire school in protest. So here we go. So 150 students walked out of Milford High School and Middle School in protest of the new bathroom restrictions. Sounds good to me. The protest came after a lengthy debate by the Board of Education over whether to separate school bathrooms and locker rooms at the school by a sex sign at birth, not gender identity. I don't see a problem so far. I don't see a problem. Because personally, I don't want some random dude who decided to identify as the opposite sex today to show up to see my daughter, wife, girlfriend, mother, any woman that I care about, friend. I don't want some random dude that decided to identify as a girl today to be in there just looking at parts. Even if you identify as that every day, you don't belong in there. There's stuff in there that you're just not supposed to see. It is what it is. So I don't see a problem with this. So the students dem demonstrated for about 45 minutes. It's 150 of them. Me personally, I would have had 150 write-ups and disciplinaries, uh, uh, disciplinary action, action written out and ready for all 150 of them. Every, everybody would have had paperwork on them. You're supposed to be in class. So th they, feel as they feel as though there wasn't an issue or concern. Now this is the part that gets me. One student who participated in walkout told a local television station that the students were not consulted about the new policy. Why in the hell should anybody ask you anything? This is designed to protect you. Put your pride aside. No pun intended, I promise no pun intended, but I'm saying, put all that aside. Now, this is designed to protect the student body. It's not just about you and your personal feelings or what you want to identify as. I bet if you were to take a poll of all the students at this school, between the middle school and high school, I bet if you would take a poll of the students and the parents who know about this, I guarantee you that the ones who are in support of this measure heavily outweighs those who are not because it's about safety. You can identify as whatever you want, but do it somewhere else, not where you're putting other people's safety at risk because of your selfishness. I'm not even trying to hear all that. So now let's go down here. This is another part that got me. This student says, this is a 16-year-old transgender sophomore named Nick, said the policies could have a negative impact on the mental health of the district's LGBTQ students. He said he and another, stu another queer student just want to be treated the same as cis high school students. First of all, this term cis, I'm not even sure what the acronym is, but apparently it's like the person who identifies what they were born as. Like for me, I'm a cis male because I'm a man and I identify as a man. So, I mean, it's just, I, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, anyway. So they're saying that apparently it's going to cause issues, mental issues. You already have one in my opinion, but that's another story. Now, it said you want to be treated the same. If you want to be treated the same, go to the restroom where it's, where you're, of what your uh, gender is at birth. That's how, you, that's how you're treated the same, by giving clearance to go into the restroom that you're supposed to be in. So you're not being picked on. You're not being ostracized, because if that was the case, people would be making fun of you. It's, it's a safety measure here. That's what it's all about. I want my high school experience to be just like everyone else's, like getting my license, taking biology class, and figuring out my life, not fighting for it. Then why the hell are you outside? If that's what your focus is, getting your license, taking biology, going to class, figuring everything out, go to class. Go to class and fight this differently. I don't care if you post on social media, post on TikTok like you liberals love to do. I don't care if that's what you're doing. But be in class, be about what you say you're about, which is supposed to be your education, but you're outside for 45 minutes protesting. I promise you, everybody would have paperwork on them. Everybody. So this is what gets me right here. Look at this. We don't blame you. OK, sure you do. Where's our vote? You don't get one. You don't deserve one. Because it's not about you. It's about the safety of everybody at that school. So what would happen, though? Let me, let me, let me put you all on the spot for a minute. So I'm going to put you all on the spot for a minute. What would happen, OK? 
if one of these males, because it happens all the time, but I'm going to put it on some of y'all who at this school have a problem with this. Perfect example. One of your best friends at the school who is a woman, identifies as a woman and is born one. One of these boys in your school, or a teacher for that matter, decides that they want to be a girl that week, that month, however long they want to lie to themselves. They decide that they want to use that same restroom as your friend. And something happens. Your friend is sexually assaulted. Your friend is being videotaped while, she, while she's in there showering or doing whatever else. And everything's found out about. How would you feel at that point about that person? If you don't have a personal problem with that person for playing the system, because they know they can get access to these women's facilities, you have a bigger mental issue than you realize. This is not just about your personal feelings and how you choose to identify, put your pride aside, no pun intended. You mean to tell me that the time that you have at school, in between classes, at lunch, during class, you don't want a quick break, it matters that much to you where you pee, where you take a crap, it matters that much to where you can't just go to the assigned gender restroom that's on your birth certificate. You, 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 it matters that much for those few minutes that you have to release all that from your body? It shouldn't matter. Do what the hell you're supposed to do. Go where you're supposed to go and get back to class. Get those good grades. Read something. Learn something. This should not be at the forefront of our students' focus. Realize that the bigger picture is safety, and it's not just about you. Play with your identity and all that kind of stuff somewhere else. But in the schoolhouse, in public places, people need to be protected, and that's what needs to happen. So hats off to the New Hampshire board for doing this, because this needs to be a widespread movement.